Break down what these results mean is UW Madison Professor Michael Wagner. Thank you so much for waking up with us. Oh, it's my pleasure. So, big news, biggest headline: Biden wins decisively. He almost doubled what the polls projected. Do you think this marks a turning point in his race? Maybe. I mean, on the one hand, okay. Joe Biden has been running for president in different elections since, since 1988, and this is the first time he's ever won a primary. Um, but he's always been running as the person who. Uh, has been the electable candidate. That's been his attempted narrative so far, and he didn't win early, and so it's possible this could reset the race, but Bernie Sanders has the advantage in the kind of crown jewel swing states in polling so far. On the other hand, it's been a volatile polling time, and so it could be that Biden's win propels him to do a little bit better in some of those states, especially California and Texas. We'll have to wait and see. Right now, Sanders is polling ahead in both California and Texas going into Super Tuesday when almost a third of total delegates are up for grabs. Do you think that it's possible that Sanders could clinch the nomination by this Tuesday? No, I don't think that there would be a clinching of the nomination. Mm -hmm. I think that we could see a more dramatic winnowing of the number of candidates. And so Elizabeth Warren has been betting on Super Tuesday for some time. Amy Klobuchar has been doing the same. Pete Buttigieg has been doing the same. And so after Super Tuesday, if, if those folks aren't winning um, a state or two or coming in close and un expected seconds in some of the larger states, it's going to be harder for them to keep going, especially if Klobuchar doesn't win Minnesota, her home state, and Warren doesn't win Massachusetts, her home state. If a candidate like Amy Klobuchar or Elizabeth Warren were to drop out, which candidate would that most benefit? It, it seems like it would mostly benefit Joe Biden, but it would also benefit Sanders a, a little bit, depending upon okay. which of those two dropped out, but hard to say for sure. And by the time the race comes to us, we have some viewers in Illinois. They vote March 17th, St. Patrick. Day. Here in Wisconsin, we vote on April 7th. How small do you expect the field to be by then? I would guess a two or three person race by then. I think Super Tuesday will be a time when we see some more people dropping out and then it'll probably be Bernie Sanders, Joe Biden, and maybe uh, one other person. And currently in our state, Sanders, according to the latest Marquette Law School poll released just this week, Sanders is in first, Bloomberg in second, Biden in third. Do you, was that any surprise to you? No, not really. I mean, Sanders has had strength in Wisconsin uh, going back uh, four years uh, when he did well here and winning against uh, Hillary Clinton. The Elections Research Center poll at uh, UW uh, that we conducted recently also shows Sanders in the lead and a bunch of folks kind of around 12, 13 percent in that area in second. And so a lot of that will move around, of course, after people drop out in the coming weeks. But Sanders has had strength here, and that's no surprise. And the Marquette Law School poll also jumped ahead to the general election. It showed that Sanders would would actually beat Trump, Biden and Trump would tie and Bloomberg would lose to Trump. Do you think that that is in line with your polling at the UW as well? Uh, I would say that those things are broadly similar and we shouldn't put too much stock into how people say they're going to vote. There's a little bit of strategic answering going on. If you're a big, strong Sanders supporter, you might say I wouldn't vote for Biden now, um, even though you might well, when the general election comes out and vice versa if you're a Biden supporter not wanting to, to make Bernie look good in that same kind of poll. Okay, but for now, all eyes are on those Super Tuesday states. 15 contests up on Tuesday. There are a lot of races, way more delegates up. Some states have more delegates than we've seen awarded so far. So, so this is when the race really begins. Thank you so much, Professor Wagner. We My expect pleasure. to have you on later in this season as the race tightens even sure. more. Thank you so much. Have a great morning.